Hello everyone, so here I am, au naturel. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with using L'Oreal's Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I'm normally not a huge primer user, but mainly because I haven't found the right primer for my face. So if you go ahead, leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite primer, I'd greatly appreciate it. But what I do like about this one is, as you can see, it just leaves this really glowy, dewy, natural, healthy looking skin, and I absolutely love it. And of course, I forgot to put my bang bang, so we're gonna go ahead and try to tame that just a little bit. And yeah, that looks absolutely ridiculous, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to deal with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip this, as you can see, but it's totally not working, and so you know what, that's just gonna have to do. So I'm gonna use some of this 24 hour Revlon Color Stay Makeup and I am in the shade 110. I also like to combine just a little bit of this Dr. Jart Renewalist Beauty Balm. I feel like when I combine these two that the Beauty Balm actually ends up giving me a little bit of extra protection from the sun because it has an SPF of 40. So as you can see, I'm going ahead and I am adding these two on the back of my hand right now. I'm gonna go ahead and mix them together thoroughly and then I'm gonna go ahead and dot all over my face until my face is pretty much covered in dots. So now that I'm pretty much done with this step, I'm gonna go ahead and take a damp beauty sponge and this is just a normal one sold at Sephora. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that product as you can see and then I'm just going to blend away and you can basically blend to your heart's content. I tend not to like to mute out my lips, but you know, if you want to go for it, you know, it's just makeup, you can do whatever you like. And I think that I need a little bit more coverage on my chin area. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up just a little bit extra of that product. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend it on my chin and then just a little bit down my neck just to kind of make the transition just a little bit more seamless. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and take Max Studio Finish Concealer in NW15. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with my ring finger since it is my weakest finger and dab that all over um, my under eye area and on top of my eyelid as well, just to kind of hide any type of veins that I have showing discoloration, sleepiness. Um, my bags really aren't that bad today. If they had been bad, I tend to like using Bobbi Brown's corrector in the shade porcelain before I put on the concealer underneath my eyes, but I'm skipping that step today. So as you can see, I actually really love to pile it up. And I also like to go ahead and add it just around my nose area and my mouth, kind of where my foundation tends to rub off a little bit throughout the duration of the day. And on top of my eyebrows, I don't know why, but it's always just a little red there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I am in the shade Light One, also known as Chantilly. So when I get a little bit of an on that doe foot, I like to apply it underneath my eye area, on my forehead, bridge of my nose, chin and cupid's bow. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my opposite hand's ring finger and now I'm gonna go ahead and blend away. I tend to try to use that more in a triangular shape than it was originally, just because it does, a little bit really does go a long way with this concealer. So I try not to bring it down too far because then I don't want my face to look droopy. I feel that how I do it right now kind of brings a little bit of light still towards the center of my face and gives it more of that like 3D look to it. And I tend to use more of this product than I probably like to actually admit to, just because, I mean, a little bit does go a long way and I always forget about it. And as you can see, like all over my chin, oh my goodness, there's just so much that I'm gonna go ahead and try to apply the rest of it to my nose area, just to kind of blend it out a little bit. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty sponge and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of extra product and I'm gonna blend all over the edges of where I had applied the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, just because I don't want any kind of harsh lines and I don't want it to look too kind of angular. I want to keep it very soft looking. So as you can see, that's kind of the finished result. I'll go ahead and take out my hair just so I don't look as ridiculous. So you can go ahead and see the final result. So that's it for my foundation and highlighting routine. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Bye.